China's Supreme People's Court said at a news conference on Tuesday that the new government guidelines calling for open roads in gated communities could be legally challenged. Those guidelines, however, were issued by the State Council. The guidelines say that roads in newly established communities should be part of urban road systems and therefore open to the public. Our reporter Chen Tong takes a look at these issues. The guidelines suggest that when community gates are open, all roads and parking lots in the community should be available to the public. But the China's property law says roads and plantings in gated communities belong to the residents. Experts say there need to be changes to the law if the new guidelines are to be implemented. You cannot just pull down the fences and say it's an open community. A lot of rules need to be set regarding what types of properties should be open. There is a legal problem in that. These are commercial residential buildings, and since I bought, I own the roads. How can this be resolved? Lee believes the guidelines are too vague to clarify what kinds of communities need to be open. In addition to the legal issues, there are safety concerns. I am worried about safety. This might be all right in downtown Shanghai, but the crime risk in the suburban areas is high. I wouldn't be willing to live in an open community. I support the idea in terms of the land itself because we have to utilize resources and share them. But there need to be improvements in the laws so that they will be acceptable to the public. The aim of opening communities is to better utilize urban land and optimize the urban road network. Professor Li says Chinese cities do suffer from a land shortage, especially in large urban areas. This is a big issue in China. We now suffer from a shortage of land. People are finding the land is not being used wisely or efficiently. Open communities could also ease traffic problems. For now, the state council guidelines only offer suggestions. How the policy will be implemented still depends on local governments. Chen Tong, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.